Hello everybody, welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Ten minutes at a time. Okay. All that movie was downloaded and I've been busy, okay? I cut my piece of plywood. And it just fits in there like a glove, man. Just perfect. And I took some of my blocks of wood, you know, and I kind of glued them together in kind of a pyramid shape. And uh, got them to where they fit. These foam. Got them to where they fit. Halfway decent, alright? I want to go ahead and glue them on there. And uh, finish sanding them once they're on. I gotta let the dog out. Hold on. Come on, damn it, it's so funny. Okay. Now, then then I think take my old magazine. I already used it a bunch for an epoxy. Bam! There's a brand new spreader sheet right there, right under that other one. Bam! We gotta be fast in the shop. We gotta snap. We gotta go like a southbound freight train coming off a mountain. It's a load of rocks. No brakes. The southbound wind, also. That's cruising, man. That's cruising right there. Alright. We'll put us some glue on that plywood. Back to the old six minute epoxy. Why you think I use six minute epoxy? Because I'm an impatient man. <laughs> okay, and I got that marked. I want to go ahead and put some glue on there, too. That's the inside one. But we don't want a whole bunch of glue gushing out here. We just want to get her glued in. Right there. Right there like that. Keep your tape on there. Right on there like that. Alright. Now I got this piece. See, it's kind of a compound. See, it's wider there and skinnier there. I didn't want to sand that too much and uh, get it all out of whack from what it's really supposed to be. So I'm just going to finish it on the stab here. There, like that. We want some of that epoxy. Yeah. I just gotta let this dry for a couple minutes. What y'all want to talk about? How'd y'all's day go? Y'all have a hard day at work. There we go. Alright. We'll get get out to that shop. Get something done tonight. Bam, that's gonna look pretty good. What do you guys think? Can you see that? Oh you guys ain't been watching me. Don't go on it. What are you looking down there for? Alright. See that? That's looking pretty good, ain't it? In just a couple ten minute videos I took care of that. And that just looked terrible, terrible. Just terrible. Ain't no need in letting something like that whoop you either. I know people that would have thrown that back in the corner and just not have wanted to face it. It just would have been so disastrous for them and uh, All you gotta do is sit back and think about it for a minute. How can I fix that? How can I fix that real quick and easy? Yeah, that's perfect. 
You know, I just need to sit there and hold that for a couple minutes. And really, I didn't have a clue how I was going to go about that earlier until I came across it. Shoot, that was after I made that first video. And it just came to me. Shoot. Why well, try and sit there? I was thinking about my block sander and sitting there and trying to sand a square edge on that. And it just, it would have took me forever and it just never would have looked right. I want this edge nice and crisp. Just like on that model, you see. So I thought, well, hey, I'll just cut a groove in that, slide me a piece of wood in there, bam, be done, done with it. Now I just put this whole bottom shoom on my big belt sander and get all that sanded smooth. Then I can uh, get this sanded up here tonight. I'll be ready for some glass before long with some resin. Keep trucking and ride along. Southbound freight train. That sounds like a dang country and western song. down a hill. It's a load of rocks and no brakes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how we're rolling people. That's how we're rolling now. Me, Butch, everybody involved in this program's got it in high gear. We got a deadline to make. We're gonna make it. I hope anyway. <laughs> I hate this. See, if I was to put a piece of tape on this, I couldn't get it right, you know. This is one of them things you got to just sit here and hold. That's why I use six minute epoxy. Yeah, I'm starting to set up now. I'm starting to set up now, but see what I got going now? Bam, that already looks a lot better, don't it? A little bit of sanding. That'll look good. Be done. Problem solved. On to the next one. That's what you got to do. Just snap, snap, snap. <clears throat> good thing is I only got to make one of these. I don't have to make another one exactly perfect, just like this one, because this will be my right and my left stab, because it's full symmetrical, no washout, nothing crazy, it's nice and flat, we cut it on that CNC machine, and uh, it's awesome, that, that dude's looking nice, man, man, I bet I can make a jet, <laughs> Need a set of wings for their jet. I'm gonna lay them one up. <laughs> How much time we got? Oh, one minute. Hey, some guy, somebody was asking me about my nacelles, and I think I remember you posting that when I had them on the plane when it was on the wheels. The reason they look funny in that shot is because the covers wasn't on them. Oh no, them the sales look good. You know, you don't have to look through every one of my videos when you want to back up and look at something. But uh, go back, that's early. I'm going to say in the 20s. Uh, just go back to the first page. You can get to that real easy. Just right up there top left um, if you go to my videos. And it'll say uh, first page or last page. Click on that. Go like to 20 and you can get a good look at them the sales. No, them the cells look good. And they are scaled. They got the little whoops in the bottom of them just like the real ones. That the Revell model, the plastic model didn't have them. 